Baby Stanley's short life was plagued with pain, coming to an end after he suffered a broken skull. He was just three weeks old. His death caused by those who should have protected him, his own mother and her boyfriend. Just days before Stanley's death, police had a standoff with a man who would later be convicted of causing his Hello, death, Sam, right? Sam Davies. There's been a lot of shouting yeah, and screaming yeah, and banging. Yeah, you don't want once come in my house, it's as simple as that, mate. You what, sorry? You're on your own, it's me and my mate having an argument, it's simple as that. Officers were called to the flat he shared with Stanley's mother, Roxanne, after neighbours heard shouting. She soon emerges carrying Stanley in her arms. You all right, Roxanne? Yeah, I'm just telling them to calm down. He is arguing with his mate. After congratulating her on his birth, I know, congratulations, yeah. The officer expresses concern about her partner's behaviour. Yeah, I just need to know that Sam's going to calm down. Get out of my way now. After he leaves, they still want to take a look around inside. Despite seeing what looks like a hole in the door, officers leave. But a fortnight later, Stanley is dead. Today, Roxanne Davis and Samuel Davies were jailed for 10 years for causing his death. Their trial saw them trying to blame one another for Stanley's death. We many, many times gave her an opportunity and him an opportunity to be honest with us and tell us what happened to him. And that, of course, could have changed how we dealt with this case. We were unable to prove who was responsible. We couldn't charge either, either of them with murder. Stanley was only a week old when police were called to the couple's flat. A few days later, Stanley's mum said a bruise was found behind the baby's ear. On the 20th of March, Samuel Davies called a doctor for an appointment. Right, is it, um, is it something that's urgent, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've got serious mental health problems and I'm using a lot of cocaine to deal with it. And I'm getting there. I feel like I'm going to die. I'm going to take on about it soon. The next day, the couple tested positive for drugs. And just seven days later, Stanley died from a fracture to his skull. There are now questions over whether baby Stanley's death could have been prevented.